Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Mirza, nurse practitioner. Today I'd like to talk about five reasons that you should not become a family nurse practitioner if this is you. Number one, if you're doing it for the money. Please don't do this if you're doing it for the money. Now I know there are plenty of nurses that are making 80, 90, some even over $100,000 a year. Now granted, they may be working overtime, but they're making a good amount of money. And there are plenty of other nurses that are doing other side hustles and other businesses that are making a great income. And as a new grad family nurse practitioner, there's a good chance that you may be making less than $100,000, maybe only $90,000 a year. I mean, my first full-time job offer, which was in Austin, Texas, the offer was $85,000 a year. Now I didn't accept it because it was a low offer and there are other reasons, but it shouldn't be all about the money because if you're a high earning nurse, coming out as a family nurse practitioner you may be making the same or if not less and there is a high learning curve when you come into working as a nurse practitioner and that added stress that all that added extra time and that added debt the return on your investment might not be there if you're just solely concentrating on the money your earning potential yes can be high and there are certain certain ways that you can make a really good income as a family nurse practitioner but that should not be your sole number one reason number two and I hear this a lot, people go into family nurse practitioner because it's the most marketable nurse practitioner degree. Now, that is true, being a family nurse practitioner, there's a lot that you can do. You're seeing patients from all ages. You deal mainly with outpatient care. You can work in any outpatient specialty. You can work in the urgent care. You can even work in the emergency department. You can do fellowships and work in other specialties, which is great. But if you're going into being a family nurse practitioner, just be because of the fact that it's the most marketable, you should think again and think about the other nurse practitioner fields that you may be interested in. I recommend going into a nurse practitioner program, whether it's psych, whether it's acute care, pediatric, neonatal, or other uh, nurse practitioner fields. Go into what you're most interested in, not the most marketable, because you don't wanna go out and graduate have a hard time finding a job or land a job that you're not really passionate about, but you got this degree just because someone told you it's the most marketable field. Uh, don't do that. Go for what you're passionate about instead of choosing the most broad field. Number three, to piggyback off of number two of most marketable field, don't become a family nurse practitioner if you're interested in being a hospitalist. A hospitalist is a provider that works solely in the inpatient hospital uh, services, providing essentially primary care for the patients that are admitted in the hospital. So you'll be the main person in charge, taking care of the person inside the hospital. You can consult on specialists if needed, but you'll be the main person taking care of the patients inside the hospital while they're admitted. If that's what you want to do as a family nurse practitioner, you're not we're not trained to take care of patients that are admitted in the hospital. We're trained on outpatient internal medicine, but not on inpatient internal medicine, and that's a whole different ball game. So if you wanna be a hospitalist, then my recommendation is to become an acute care or adult geriatric acute care nurse practitioner. These nurse practitioners are highly trained in inpatient medicine, as well as inpatient specialty medicine. Uh, you'll do a lot of rounding while in school in the hospital's role, and you'll be a lot more well-equipped to work as a hospital nurse practitioner. And nowadays, a lot of hospitals and physician groups are starting to be more strict on uh, hiring acute care nurse practitioners for a hospital's role. Now, there still are some family nurse practitioners working in the hospital's role. Uh, either they have a lot of experience as a hospitalist or the facility that they're being hired in is just not strict. Now that, I don't think that's gonna last forever. Once there are more and more acute care nurse practitioners available that want to work hospitalist, places will less likely hire family nurse practitioners. Not only that, but you are at increased liability if for some reason you get sued or you get called to court for providing uh, care for an inpatient hospitalist, you may be questioned whether you were properly trained in your school to work as a hospitalist. Without having any rotations in the hospitalist field, it might be hard to defend yourself. Or if you're interested in being a psychiatric nurse practitioner, then go ahead and go to a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner program. I do see some nurse practitioners that are family nurse practitioners and working in psych. As a family nurse practitioner, we are trained to treat and diagnose uh, depression and anxiety. But further than that, we're really not uh, trained to deal with other more complex 
uh, psychiatric uh, problems or acute inpatient psychiatry uh, or things that you'll deal with in the outpatient psych world like OCD, schizophrenia, or other complex psychiatric uh, abnormalities as a family nurse practitioner you're not really trained now of course you can get on the job training you can work under a psychiatrist and you can get that training but at the end of the day you're not certified in psych probably should not be working as a full-time psychiatric nurse practitioner you can always do a post master certificate uh, but if your goal is to work in psychiatry and that's what you're interested in then don't go don't become a family nurse practitioner because you have the option of working in other places go and get your uh, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner degree you'll be well equipped to take care of psychiatric patients in the clinic and inpatient in the hospital another option is if you're only interested in treating pediatrics and become a pediatric nurse practitioner if you're interested in treating patients in the neonatal ICU, then become a neonatal nurse practitioner. Or if you only want to treat adults, then you can go into adult geriatric instead of family nurse practitioner. So if you have a specific interest, I recommend going into that field and working in that field. You'll set yourself up better for that role that you want to work in the future. Number four, if you're not a self-learner, then being a family nurse practitioner might not be the best thing for you. There's different types of family nurse practitioner programs. There are type of programs that are 100% on campus. All your lectures and everything is done on campus. There's a hybrid type that I did. You have online lectures, you have, and then you also have uh, in-person uh, trainings and, and other educational material that's done in person. And then there are some 100% online programs that are kind of controversial, but whether you're, you're at an in-person program or an online or a hybrid, you need to be a self-learner. So you will have lecture maybe a couple times a, a week, uh, but a lot of the material will depend on you reading it, learning yourself, looking things up, researching, watching videos, and really getting deep in the material. In nurse practitioner school, you're not gonna be spoon fed. They're not gonna tell you exactly what you need to know for your exams. And at the end of the day, um, you don't wanna just memorize what you need for the exam. You wanna learn this information, retain it, so when you come out to practice, you know what to do. So it requires a lot of self-learning, a lot of self-discipline, and you gotta have passion for this in order to be willing to spend all that time and devote to studying and going above and beyond in your, in your learning education. And finally, number five, if you're not a people's person, then being a family nurse practitioner might not be the best field for you. As a family nurse practitioner, you deal with people constantly, every single day. All of the patients that you're seeing are either in the clinic or in the emergency room or the urgent care. Most of the time they're dealing with acute illnesses or chronic illnesses. You have to be that person that is inviting, that you can sit down, have a good communication with them. They have to be comfortable speaking with you. You have to have good body language. And when they sit down and speak with you, they need to be able to feel invited in your presence. And they need to be comfortable in discussing whatever issues they have. If you're not a people's person and you have a hard time speaking with people or dealing with a lot of people's problems on a daily basis, then being a family nurse practitioner might not be the best thing for you. Well, I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight of whether or not being a family nurse practitioner can fit your interest in your personality. If you have any questions, please give a comment below, like, and subscribe for more content in the future. Thank you. Bye.